Recently, I'd ranked up to level 1000 in GTA Online. In that time, I've made over $1.2 billion, spent over $740 million, played over 7,000 hours, and killed almost 20,000 players. I've bought every business and property I could, owned around 300 vehicles, all the helicopters and planes I could ever want, and generally act like money is not an issue. So I wondered what it would be like to get rid of all of that wealth and start all over again. This is my journey on how I went from riches to rags. Previously on Riches to Rags. Unfortunately for us, Agent 14 had eaten a rather spicy curry the night before. So there's this chemical laboratory called Humane Labs. Humane Labs? It was then that I remembered where I'd seen this woman before and her fondness for flashlights. Next I'll have this thing so far up your ass, your tonsils will be playing shadow puppets. <laughs> now ambush was seemingly no way out. We lit these motherfuckers up. I tell you, we only needed one of these? Clear skies. Bring the Hydra in and we'll take a look at that EMP. We'll go back to your place, get started on that thing I know nothing about. Details are on your board. Pesca tried her best to blow it all, literally, by setting fire to this petrol tank. Which then exploded and destroyed our getaway vehicle. We need to hack the security panel. This then meant that all four of us had to run out of the Humay Labs. Until we were clear to finally pass the setup. Two teams, chopper crew, ground crew, all of you will be flying in together. Are we clear? With Dio as pilot, Pesco as gunner, it was up to Dark and I to parachute down and infiltrate the lab. Then something happened that has never happened before in all the hundreds of times I've completed this heist. Then for some reason, the flashlight bitch made us blow up the chopper. Pesca opted to do it, as she's already shown her skills in making things explode. Cool guys don't look at explosions They blow things up and then walk away After winning the scramjet at a casino wheel, I purchased a living quarters in my arcade so I can spawn in much easier to start casino heist. And one approach that I had not taken on yet was silent and stinky. So off I went to find out what was in the vault for me this time. But I deserve those. Oh. Excellent. That's okay. exactly what I needed. Now head over to the casino. Thinking that a jet propelled flying car with homing missiles would really help me out with these missions, I soon discovered that this probably won't be true. Okay, bring out your phone and search for a Wi Fi signal we can piggyback on. To locate the signal, I had to change my gender on a whim, as you are allowed to do that now, and become a woman so I could access the women's toilets and maybe even get to see some beaver. Time to have some fun! <laughs> I did get some major insight into what it's like in these ladies' toilets and what they get up to. Things like looking at a logo on their phones, or staring at themselves in the mirror. Seeing as we'd already had cash and then artwork, I'm pretty sure we all knew what would be next. You guessed it. Artwork again. Artwork, nice. Not really my taste, but assets are still going crazy and we can make a small fortune. So after having a piss like a ma- I mean a lady, and dropping the kids off at the pool, it was now time to head back to the arcade to choose my next heist approach. Just feels naughtier. Then I had to select my crew to maximize the amount of money I could make. Cheap! Alright, well, I guess we'll see what weapons Carl can source for us. 
Kareem was never the best. Probably a good thing he's no longer a wheel man. Christian's not a bad choice. I'll get in touch with him. Right, so your weapons. We don't want anything that can be traced back to us, so we're going after a little import-export operation off the coast. Blast in there and take the shipment. For the first prep, there was surely no better weather to try out what the scramjet could do than torrential rain. So after expertly parking my car in the water, I was perfectly positioned for a one-man ambush. Now I just had to open the door to the plane so loads of water could get in and fly it to the drop-off point. The first rule on the art of war is to know your enemy, which I interpret to mean observing their every move through a highly mobile, extremely discreet nano drone. For the next mission, I had to blow up a load of drones, but then collect the parts which would clearly be destroyed and useless. I collected the first two without any issues, but the third one saw me running around like a human torch. Things then went from bad to worse when I was trying to get rid of the police choppers as my buzzard was starting to die. They then went from worse to even worse -ra -ra -ra, when my drone parts were high up on these stilt houses that I simply didn't have the vehicles to be able to reach them. So after putting my head through this wall, I did what any self-respecting GTA player would do in my position. Rage quit. To help me out with these preps, I called on a good friend. Who, to my surprise, actually turned out to be a young Tom Jones. It's not unusual to be alone. Now with Tom Jones on my team, we had to drive amazingly well over to LSIA to collect us some getaway vehicles. Now normally you'd beep your horn before you run someone over, but not this guy. So I killed him and stole his car. For our next mission, we had to blow up a load of police officers, mostly to drown out Lester's talking. Then set myself on fire again while I hunted for this elusive security pass. So after groping the arse of this dead body, we then had to sneak into the FIB building, which meant picking up this case with my knee, and then sneaking out so nobody would know that we were ever there. We then had to finish the drone mission. I opted for the scramjet, hoping for better luck than I had with the buzzard. Five drone parts collected, now we just had to lose the cops. Surveillance technology. 
After that, it was just a matter of collecting some laser drills, driving like this, spread my wings and fly away. I believe I can soar. Adjusting my crack to steal some sneaking suits hump a police car with a weaponized truck throwing Tom Jones out of the truck multiple times ironically murder funeral directors Dress up like twats. Finger a dead guy and beat up a doctor. Well, he wasn't gonna use it. Get run over by a massive truck. Mom, then watch Tom Jones execute a man in broad daylight. It's not unusual to have fun with anyone. and take some selfies with some recently murdered family men. Now with all our house preps done, and me looking absolutely battered, it was time to sneak into the casino. Yeah, it's that time again. Let's hit it and be home in time for waffles. For this heist, we were going in through the roof because everyone knows it's the coolest way possible. Breaking weekend, so the vault is full to bursting. And the bad news is that they've hired extra security to guard it. They're about to get a close-up for you. Alright, you are clear to jump. Go, go, go! It'll be your best friend. It'll overload the circuits on any CC. It was just a case of a few hacks and cutting out some paintings. My favourite one this time was this abstract piece, which I believe was painted by a six year old with autism. With all eight paintings collected and plenty of time to spare, we then swiped our keycards and planned our escape route. In and out undetected! <laughs> Who would have thought it? With our sneaking suits keeping our footsteps quiet, we did our best not to make any noise for fear of alerting the guards. Listen up, we have bad news and good news. The bad news is spot check on the vault so they know it's been robbed. The good news is they have no idea who or how. <laughs> the cops are on their way, but you can still make it out undetected if you do exactly what I say. Ignoring Lester completely, I carried on making the guards continue singing their opera songs. While I waited for Tom Jones to finish clearing out the Daily Vault, I prepared to show him my party piece front flip.
still keeping it silent but violent, I killed a news officer like I was Bruce Lee. They have patrols place, and all the civilians have been evacuated. They relegged it to steal a car for a posh English tart. Christ! It was squeaky bum time at the ledge of death. And then we were away. And as always, we arrived in style to drop off our stolen artwork. So after banking all of my recent money, I was now at a cool 4.5 million dollars. So join me next time when I set up a gay nightclub with this queen, this bellend and this tosser in the next episode of Riches to Rags. <laughs>